there are many things in this world that would seek to hinder and draw us away and pull the church back and stop her from remaining faithful in her calling. And Paul's war- Paul warns Timothy, and he says in verse 4, do not get mixed up with the curves of this life. And there's many. But what is it about this world, I ask myself, as a threat? What's wrong with this world and, and I enjoy engaging in it, but why is there a warning? What's the threat? In every generation, the church has had a love affair with the world. Hasn't she? She's had a love affair with the world. If you fall in love with this present world, it will divide your heart, it will weaken your spirit. And therefore I concluded that there's a balance needed in the believer's life and the life of the church. When we become mixed up in the world, there will be no balance. I've experienced this in my own life. And what normally happens is our family and our Lord is all put to the back burner and our life is filled with curves, not joy. And Paul says to Timothy, Timothy, no soldier, no man or woman of God gets entangled, entangled in civilian pursuits, for they are steadfast in service. They separate themselves from that which robs him of life in his home and life in his devotion towards God. We can loose ourselves from this world. And when we do, balance will be restored and faithful service will begin to flow again. Listen, I want to say this. It's important that we highlight this. The great apostle, the great missionary, was a tent maker. He worked hard in the world, but he also worked hard in the Christian service. And he too, without doubt, would have had to have found balance in it all. No doubt that he too become entangled. Why else would he say, do not become tangled, as he must himself become tangled, entangled with the world. And curves of this world get into his heart. But he saw to it that he was untangled and about the Father's business. Be steadfast in your calling, church, and make sure you're not entangled this morning with this present world. You know if you are, you'll be filled with curves worries. The joy of the Lord will be a memory, a distant memory. This world will have replaced it. I pray we receive God's instruction this morning to faithful service, to be strong and to walk in his grace, to help others also, to expect difficulties in, our, in, in life and difficult seasons, to surround ourselves with those who will be faithful in helping us and pointing us to God, and to be steadfast. Find balance in our life's church.